Hello, my name is Arthur Cummings and I'm going to introduce to you this paper on optical ray tracing guided LASIK and the one year follow up. Previously, a, a paper was published on, a prospective paper was published on ray tracing LASIK and the outcomes at three months for patients with more than four diopters of myopia and or two, more than two diopters of astigmatism. In this paper, we look at that same cohort of patients who now have one year follow up and we compare it to patients who had wavefront guided LASIK, wavefront optimized LASIK or topography guided LASIK for the same refractive errors. And we look at uncorrected acuity, best corrected acuity, safety, stability and predictability. And if you look at the results, you'll see that ray tracing is particularly good. And the key reason why ray tracing is so good is because of the way that the calculation is done for the laser. So with any normal procedure, irrespective of how good the diagnostics are, is once the laser is given that information, the laser assumes that we are treating Gould's trans eye model. So it plans a treatment for a 43 to after corneal curvature and a 24 millimeter axial length. With ray tracing, we preoperatively create the perfect eye model for that patient using their dimensions. So we know what the axial length is, we know what their curvature is, we know where their lens is inside the eye. And using this information, we can completely customize the treatment planning. And this is what ray tracing is. And once you've read the paper, you will see that ray tracing, without using any algorithms or nomograms, lands up giving superior results to other ablation profiles that we know. I hope you enjoy the paper.